Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just wanted to run through a couple of potential turbo options. This isn't the be all and end all list, but it should hopefully get you guys thinking about what you're looking for in your builds. Um, I'm going to mainly focus on the sort of 1.3 litre engines, but for all intents and purposes and purposes, um, let's assume the 5e 1.5 litre the 4As at 1.6, the 7As at 1.8, and the 2ZZs. Um, these should all be good turbos, uh, minus the CT9, um, for all those engines that I've mentioned. So without any further ado, let's uh, start with the little guy first. Um, <clears throat> this comes stock with your motor. If you've got a Starlet Turbo, it's a CT9, good for 190, maybe 200 horsepower standard. This one is the hybrid, so you've got a bit more oomph in it at 220 horses. Um, it won't be laggy, but you're going to have a lot of top-end power problems and excess overheating and high back pressure of air um, if you're going to push it hard, you know. Next one is um, the TDO4, which was popularized by the Subaru STI 2-liter turbo. Um, it works really, really well on these um, little little style of engines, little Toyota motors. Um, yeah, stage two, you can go to 340 on this um, hybrid. Mine, I've got the standard one, so I wouldn't go past 260 if I if I had to choose that turbo, which I've got. Um, <clears throat> next one on the list is again, and not not a bad price, um, the TDO5. Um, that's probably the next logical step up, um, especially if you've got, like, say, a 5E engine. Um, that could work brilliantly. Another one that I could think of, and I think is a good, good all-rounder, but expensive, but it's um, the GTX 2860, or the Disco, Disco Potato, as it's an, an, in, in other names called. Um, yeah, runs 200 to 475, so quite beefy. Um, external waste gated, you'll have to put your own waste gates in. Same with the TDO5. Uh, TDO4 and CT9 are internally gated. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Um, I think this is oil and water cooled. Um, but yeah, great turbo. Um, I've seen it on a, on a 1.3 Starlet um, and run, run about 2,800 to 3,000 RPM. The turbo starts spooling and you're already seeing positive boost on the gauge so keep that in mind if you want a nice a nice setup um here's just sort of the next evolution up from a disco disco potato i think it's the same um, same frame size um just a bit more higher spread of horsepower um ball bearing uh, water cooled oil lubricated um a bit of a premium product again because it's from garrett um, another set of turbos that might actually also be good on, on Garrett, but again, pricey and premium, these new small frame ones, um, the GBC 14 to the GBC 22, and that'll cover 200 horsepower, 250, 300, 350. Not a bad shout at all. Um, some gents, which I think is also another one, and this is again premium, um, are the Borg Warner EFRs. Uh, 6258 you know you can run 225 to 400 horses on that so yeah premium product um, it's got a gamma titanium um, turbine wheel which spools rapid um, Fisk Automotive had a kit in in the UK for the Starlets and they were running um, 1.8 bar boost and they were spooling as quick as TDO4s but they were pushing 460 horsepower at the wheels and about 404 at the crankshaft so insanely high amounts of power but I think it was a 70 series um, EFR okay um, also let's just quickly briefly look at a map um, I just wanted to let you see a turbo map um, over here we've got the surge line of the turbo and then over here we've got the choke point and choke line um, naturally, this is exactly where the turbo runs out of oomph and flow. So it's basically rated in pounds per minute. So that's like, say, 600 horsepower because it's 60 pounds per minute at sea level. Um, and then here's your boost. So at point, so like if, if I said to you, 
um, boost gauge, not the pressure ratio. On the boost gauge, it's going to be 0.5 bar. You're going to hit the choke line at about 420 horsepower. That's going to it's going to be at the limit of what it can flow at that exact pressure ratio or boost level. So just a little bit on that, um, guys. Uh, I've probably missed out a few <coughs> turbos on this list. Um, yeah, by all means, throw in some comments about if the, if you think I've missed anything and you want to see maybe something else. Um, the next, I think the next one or two videos I'm going to do, I will go into turbos and compressor map, maps a bit further. Um, and we can sort of like dissect what's happening a bit more, uh, in a bit more detail. So until then guys, take care. We'll catch you soon. Bye.